Okay, I know that I said that we would do the concept lesson. Sorry, I'm moving things around um, as our Christmas card. But what I have decided to do in at, in the concept lesson was pines. And this is now going to be a business, a business tip. So I'm going to show you how we take a picture with a simple little iPhone and make a beautiful Christmas card out of it. So... First of all, I am going to my iPhoto and I'm going to do my very, very best to make sure that it's lined up so that it's straight vertically and horizontally. Now, I have had better luck going to the portraits part and changing the light to studio light. So let's, and then when I do that, it, I kind of have to get in a little bit closer. So there is my studio light. Let's line that up um, so that the sides are parallel and the top and bottom are parallel as best as possible. Take a picture. Now I like, just like when I'm taking any image, I. I bracket so that I have a few different images to choose from. So now I've put it into natural light and I'll take an image. And then I'm going to go to my standard photo and take an image and see how that turns out. So I have three to choose from of what works best. Okay. So I've got the photo. Now I'm going to look at them. There is one, two. You know, I think I'm liking this one the most, um, which was the studio lighting. It shows a little more yellow and a little more purples. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I crop it to where it needs to be. And I can see, wait, here we go. There's the crop. It needs, the right-hand side is down just a little bit lower. So let's turn that just a little bit. Okay, so I'm bringing my crop in to the bottom. And let's crop that down. Okay, I like that, but let's do some editing. So we edit and we come to our little button right here. Now let's look at exposure. So we can go higher or lower. And I kind of like lower. This is supposed to be a moody winter piece. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower on my exposure Next is brilliance. So what the brilliance does is it, it kind of hits the contrast just a little bit, makes the light areas have a little more color to them. So then I'm going to go to highlights. Let's see what happens. Nope. You know, I don't, I don't like to go too much with the highlights because then I lose all definition in the lower areas. So I'm going to leave it about right there. Shadows, that increases the contrast as well. And of course this contrast does, but I don't want too much of that either because what it, that does is makes it look a little too structured. Um, so let's go to the saturation and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit because it's grayed and sometimes my uh, iPhone, when it takes a picture, oversaturates things. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And let's go to warmth. And that's kind of just up to you. Do you want it more cool or do you want it more warm? I kind of like it a little on the warm side. And that is a tint, red or green. And I don't I'm just going to leave that be, and I'm going to go down to my noise reduction. Um, sometimes when you're taking an 
image with your iPhone, you get a little too much glare. So if I increase my noise reduction a little bit, any of those little pops of light from glare will, will be softened. Okay, so there we, I'm hitting done. There is my image. Now what I wanna do is put a heart on it so I know which one it is. And I am going to email it to myself. So it goes right to my computer. So I hit mail and I go to me and I'm going to put card and I'm going to email it to me. Now what I'm going to do is go into my computer and screenshot that. There we go. Photo for a Christmas card. So this is part one. I'll get back to you very shortly with part two. So now we are doing part two of our Christmas card. So the last thing I told you to do was to email the card to yourself and your computer. I am working on a Mac and the, my system that I use for tweaking is uh, Photoshop Elements and I'll show you that right now. So what I'm going to do is take the image that I sent to myself and I'm going to drag it down here into my Adobe Photoshop Elements editor and that oops, should bring it right up. Okay, here we go. So I have it now in my editor to edit and I've already got it um, cropped where it needs to be and if I needed any changes here are all my tools. Now it does have a little noise in it um, and I'm going to reduce the noise a little bit more. I know we talked about that as I was um, tweaking it. But let's see if I can find out. Where do I do that on here? Just press this is image. All right, here we go. I just opened it and I'm going to hit filter and I'm going to go to noise and let's just try dust and scratches first. And just one little bit. If you see, you can change this to the point where it's almost so blurry you can't see it. But I'm going to just stick with one for right now. That looks pretty good. That's starting to look better. You can still see a lot of the grain of the linen. Let's go to um, reduce noise just a little bit. And I think I'll take that down to a three. And let's see what happens. Okay, that looks pretty good. Sure has a lot of texture in it. Okay, now let's make sure that uh, we the image is flattened. Sometimes if I tweak an image or I transform it, I need to flatten the image. But I'm going to save it here as card and I'm going to save it on in my uh, art 22. So we'll save it as large a file as we can. There we go. Now let's open up our Instagram or our Vistaprint. Vistaprint. So I go to vistaprint.com I am already signed into my account, so if you don't have one, you'll want to stop right now and make an account. But here's mine. Now I'm going to go to my holiday cards, and I'm going to go to see all holiday cards and preview your design. So I'm going to upload my photo. So I will go to my Art22, wherever I put card, and that would be right here. So I'm downloading my card into Vistaprint.
Now there's all kinds of different templates. Um, I kind of like this right here too, um, where there's writing on it, but you certainly don't have to. You can make your own just, just with the card only. And so I'm just kind of looking through, seeing if there's anything that I really like. And ah, let's see. Merry and bright, that's kind of nice. And so they give you so many different choices to to pick from. And then you can make changes as you go to. Let's see. Why is my dog? So let's let's. We know that we need to do it in a six by nine. No, four four point six by seven point two. And we want it folded and we want it vertical. No, we want it horizontal, not vertical. What am I thinking? Horizontal. Okay. Um, this one looks really nice. I don't necessarily like the Happy New Year, but I probably could get in and change that. So let's click on this one. Select this design. And, uh, oh yes, look at this, I can change. So I'm going to, I'm going to change this to, um, for my family, I'm going to put Merry Christmas. And 2020. And I think if I wanted to change the text, I probably could do that. Let's see, text. Maybe not. We'll leave it the way it is. Let's see if I can move that down just a little bit. Okay, and then here is the inside. The inside says warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday. And right here I'll put uh, Marco and Shanna and family. Okay. Um, I think I will resize that and make it a little bit bigger. Let's do this. Let's make a bigger font, maybe 16. And that should do it. Okay, backside. I think just says Vista Print. Okay, so then I just go through and make sure, in fact, let's do a little preview. It will give you inside a safety line too that you want to make sure no printing, no uh, lettering goes outside of it. So here we go. There's my review. There's my front side. Review and purchase. And there's my inside and my back side. And of course, you get to do whatever you want with it. Um, and then, usually, I've got a Deal. Let's make. Let's put it in my cart and make sure I get the fifty percent off. So I think I would do twenty, and let's see if I've got my. Usually, if it's in the cart, there is somewhere in here a fifty percent off note. In fact, let's. The coupon for the holiday card would be, oh, holiday, 50% off. So if you put in, if you put in the promo card of holiday card, that brings your total down, 20 cards for $27.56. So that's a pretty good deal to go put your Christmas cards out there for people and then you check out and 
Sometimes with Vistaprint, they'll come back and say, oh, by the way, if you order now, you can get 10 more cards for a dollar or half price or something. Just, just follow along the checkout process and you'll see what kind of deals that you can do. But I suggest to do it right now while everything is 50% off and make your Christmas cards and with your artwork and it'll make everybody in your life not only aware of your beautiful work, but it will make them happy. So that's how to make a Christmas card. Also, if you have seen Elizabeth and myself, if you've seen our calendars, we have our calendars made up here too. So you might want to consider doing something like that. Just fun things to do with your artwork and let people become aware of what what you've got out there. So I hope this was instructive and I hope it leaves you inspired to paint and to make Christmas cards. Thanks for watching.